Wrapping this afternoon, we now know 28 students went to the hospital after getting sick at school today. Witnesses told us the students got sick after eating Valentine's Day treats. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston is live in South Fulton County. And Dave, you've been getting new updates from the school and also from the hospital this afternoon. And the 28 students sick, an update within the last 30 minutes after those students were sick here at Sandtown Middle School. All the students at the school were told not to eat anything from any of their classmates until officials could figure out who and what was making the kids sick and dizzy. People were like screaming down the hallway and stuff. This Sandtown Middle like, School student talking about what caused close to 30 of her classmates to get sick after eating Valentine's Day treats during the school lunch hour. It was kind of scary because like this has never happened before and I was wondering like if anything would happen to me. My photographer and I were the first news crews on the scene. We talked with a parent who rushed to the school to pick up her daughter. The, the school, they sent out an um, alert saying that something happened. You know, they ate some type of snacks or something. I don't know. Look at this from News Chopper 2. You can see paramedics loading a student into an ambulance. We saw several ambulances arriving on the scene. A Fulton County school official told me school officers are checking to see what caused the students to get sick and if it was intentional. And we were there when South Fulton City Councilwoman Catherine Rowell arrived to check on her daughter. Our first priority is to make sure that they're safe. And it yeah. sounds like that's what's going exactly. on. Exactly. Everybody's jumped in and responded appropriately. School officials tell me they are still trying to determine what was in those treats and if drugs may have played a role in all the students getting sick here at Sandtown Middle School. Reporting live from South Fulton County, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News. And we'll be waiting to see what the test results uh, are from that candy. Dave, thank you. Developing